The thing is, every now and then you hear like videos on YouTube talking about zero to one thousand dollar per day dropshipping challenge. But it's really important to understand that there are certain things they never tell you about the whole thing. I mean, it's not that easy. And in today's conversation, I'm, I'm going to prove to you why it's not. They got, they got to tell you the, the whole truth and uh, they don't do it. So in today's conversation, I'm spilling all the beans. So it's really important to understand that when you talk about dropshipping in general, that people are telling you you will become rich overnight. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. You know, folks talk about zero to one thousand dollars per day drop shipping. How can you achieve zero to one thousand dollars per day if you do not have the, the proper sort of background? If you don't have the proper experience, if you don't have the proper products. Because, see, the, the things people don't tell you about those those challenges, so-called challenges, is that when you have a, a winning product, a winning product is not winning all the time. You can have a training product that actually is training for three days and after one week it's over right so for you to actually find day after day after day after day like the same winning products for for 30 for 30 days it takes time and it's not always always easy so the whole thing is people tell talking to you about zero to one thousand dollar per day drop shipping challenge meaning you can make 30 grand in uh, in one in one month for in drop shipping it ain't happening you will not going to be you're not going to become rich overnight it doesn't happen and one thing they, they don't tell you here is that you have to register your dropshipping store. Basically, you know, you just don't start a dropshipping uh, business and, and then start making money right away. If you, first of all, you got to ask yourself, do you want to go the uh, e-commerce platform route or you want to go the e-commerce marketplace route? Because if you go with the, with the e-commerce marketplace route, in other words, you're registering your dropshipping store on Amazon, eBay, TikTok, Etsy, whatever. What will happen here is that you will have to go through a vetting process and the platform will actually study your application before actually uh, approving you. And that takes time. It ain't happening automatically. Okay, so that's that's the, the first option. If you want to go the e-commerce platform route, in other words, you want to have a Shopify store, you want to have a WooCommerce store, a BigCommerce store, all that, it takes time. So in 30 days, you can't, be start, you can't make money right away. It takes time for your store to be set up and for your store to actually have the proper optimization, uh, optimization uh, route when it comes to SEO. Very important. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. Make yourself comfortable. You are going to enjoy today's conversation. Another thing you need to understand here is that people talk about zero to one thousand dollars per day dropshipping challenge, and you know they're making it they're making it sound as if things happen naturally. And no, no, no. You need to understand. Basically, running a dropshipping business is easier and cheaper than running a real store. That's for sure. But you need to understand that you are actually outsourcing the whole thing to to a third party, to a dropshipping supplier. So basically, you do not store, you do not have the, the product. You are relying on the, the supplier to actually take care of the fulfillment. They have to pick, pack, and ship the product to your customer. So if you want, when people talk about zero to one thousand dollars per day dropshipping challenge, basically for you to achieve the one thousand dollars, you you must have had beforehand a working relationship. With the dropshipping supplier in other words if you tell the, the supplier listen i want you to really maybe uh, take care of these things for me basically he or she will do it for you because you ha you already have the relationship that's the power of having an existing relationship if you don't have the relationship you can't just uh start from scratch and start making zero to one thousand dollars per day in dropshipping those things take time remember when we talk about dropshipping this is a, a business model that is not for everyone else it's not for everyone okay some people cannot really uh take the heat because remember dropshipping is uh is is not it's really not a sprint it is a marathon so maybe the first the first uh, if you run a marathon if you you know the first few hours the few the first uh, hour you might be tired or whatever but if you if you if you hang it in there if you really sort your own you might start actually having the energy it's the same thing with dropshipping so zero to uh zero zero to one thousand dollars per day dropshipping challenge may actually be happening for you after six months not the first month. It ain't happening the first month, that's for sure. And again, I want to insist on the fact that it's not about having the proper product. You can have a training product. You can have a, a winning product, but you, you do not have a winning product that's winning all the time. Products change the same way you can have, you can be strong on a specific keyword and tomorrow you can't rank, you cannot rank anymore on that keyword because uh, you are talking about a very dynamic marketplace and things change all the time. So and you, you have to adapt 
to that change. You need to actually follow the trends, what the marketplace wants. This is really important. So I, I want to insist on that. It's really important to remember that. By the way, boss, I want to welcome, I want to quickly uh, remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about zero to $1,000 per day dropshipping challenge. I'm telling you some of the things that uh, those uh, videos and those uh, people, those gurus, so-called gurus, never explain to you, never explain to all their viewers too. Another thing you need to really remember here is that when you talk about zero to 1,000 per day dropshipping challenge, this is hard to really achieve because no one really buys from a new dropshipping store. You need to understand, folks believe that just because you set up a dropshipping store, you're going to start, you, you're going to have a dollar, you know, like the dollars are rolling in right away overnight, whatever. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. You got to, you, you need to actually go through the marketplace, actually prove yourself because see, customers, they want to wait to make sure that you are legit. See, when you are a new dropshipping store, you have the you have uh, the burden of proof when it comes to uh, proving that you are a legit business. You are safe to deal with, and that you actually will be uh, will be hanging there for for a while. So, if you gotta find a way to actually uh, you know tick all the boxes and make sure that you are reliable, so nobody's gonna buy from you for the first thirty days. So, when people talk about hey, you know, I'm I'll, I'll make uh, thirty grand in one month doing dropshipping challenge, one thing they remember they forgot to tell you, forgot, quote unquote, forgot to tell you is that nobody buys from a new dropshipping store. And you also need to have sufficient Facebook ads knowledge to run a dropshipping store. You got to have a really, like I'm talking about a granular knowledge of Facebook ads, not uh, as knowledge to know exactly what was happening. So for you to actually uh, pull in all that, all those numbers they're giving you, you, you got to really understand how Facebook advertising works. And you, you need to understand. Also, one thing is that if you are, people say like, well, you know, you got to be in the States to actually make money when dropshipping. No, no, you don't have to because dropshipping, it doesn't matter where the drop, where the dropshipper is. Or it doesn't matter where the dropshipping supplier is. The question is, can you take care of the client? That, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. As long as you can do a, a good job at that, you are good to go. You are good to go. You will make money. That's all it is. But you got to really take care of the, the customer. Everything revolves around the customer. Make sure that he or she is getting uh, the uh, the products uh, ordered on time and real fast. And in good quality, of course. Good in good quality. Sometimes when uh, when you actually watch those videos, people talk to you about zero to one thousand dollar per day dropshipping challenge, and they're talking about you can really achieve that that by selling cheap products, okay? But you cannot. See, first of all, if you are dropshipping cheap products, you are already in a very competitive uh, ecosystem. You're not the only one because everybody loves cheap anyway. Customers love cheap, so we have a lot of a lot of players who are drawn into this type of uh, products. So if you are facing competition already from other sellers. You know, other dropshippers in that space how are you going to be able to to make sales that much unless you have a, a massive following and if you have a massive following there are other ways to actually uh, generate the revenue i'm talking about without drop without drop shipping okay you can do uh, product sales you can do uh, ebooks you can do a lot of other you can do affiliate marketing and, and you can you will make more way more money than uh, zero to one thousand dollars per day so you you are not going to go after uh, cheap products, and even, even if you went after th cheap products, it will take time for you to build the, the audience to actually rank for a keyword and to be able to to profit from that keyword. So again, the element of time is here. So when somebody tells you zero to one thousand dollars per day dropshipping challenge, how do you actually uh, you know they're not telling you they're not telling you certain things that you need to know. And remember, there's also another element to pay attention to is that. It takes months for buyers to receive products. In some cases, you know, especially if your uh, if your supplier is in China, for instance, or is in Asia in general, and you and you and you have the so you have someone ordering for your products, and the person is in New York or New Jersey or Connecticut, you're gonna have to actually account for the fact that there might be delays, and those delays might actually uh, impact your store's credibility. OK, those are things that happen. But if you don't know about them, you'll probably think, well, you know, I think everything is uh, straightforward. Things will happen the way I want them to happen. They don't happen the way you want them to happen because uh, 
dropshipping is a very dynamic space. A lot of things happen, and you gotta be you gotta be prepared for so, some of those things, so that when they happen to you, at least you know you can say, you know what, I was prepared. You gotta be prepared. This is uh, like this is the keyword, and there's no, nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it, boss. I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about zero to one thousand dollar per day dropshipping challenge. Certain things that I'm telling you today, some of the things that they don't tell you when they talk about those uh, those topics in uh, YouTube videos. One thing you need to really uh, sort of uh, understand is that if you want to have, let's say, a bespoke online dropshipping store, you need to learn coding basics. You need to understand how coding works. I'm talking about HTML, CSS, PHP. Obviously, don't get me wrong. You have a lot of uh, website like e-commerce website builders out there from uh, Wix all the way to Shopify to uh, to a big cartel to uh, GoDaddy Commerce to uh, Magento now called the Adobe Commerce. Those they do have something called drag and drop. So you have the, the, the drag and drop website builder so you do not need to actually write code but there are cases where if you want to customize things if you want to customize your store your dropshipping store you need to learn how to code or you need to hire someone who knows how how to do it but the thing is that as you're taking time off to learn those things or to find someone with that expertise you're not going to be able to uh, lay out a strong foundation from the from the get-go to establish uh, the kind of uh, apparatus that will help you get zero to one thousand dollar per day dropshipping challenge it's really important to understand that because uh don't actually fall for those the only people razzle dazzle you with uh big numbers and uh making you think that things are are happening that easily they don't happen that easily and you also have to pay taxes and duties on import also you know those are elements you need to think about because again it's one of those things where you got to ask yourself what are the regulations and uh and rules in your in your country Okay, and because uh, the rules and regulations in your juris jurisdiction will have an impact on uh, your profit, your overall profitability. So, but don't forget that you that paying taxes and duties those are usually customary, and you're gonna have to account for for them, especially if you if you are set up as a business, and uh, because uh, then the government will ask you for things like licenses and permits. If you can't show those licenses and permits, then they're charging you the full uh, the full rate when it comes to. Uh, import taxes and duties and one thing i want to tell you also is that when people talk about zero to one thousand dollar per day drop shipping challenge one thing they don't say is that you're going to have to spend money on something on software on uh you know all kinds of uh all kinds of things that revolve around customer privacy because remember when we talk about dropshipping store we are talking about you actually uh, handling customer privacy this is a, a big deal and customer privacy starts with the way you actually set up your store specifically in something called ssl secured sockets layer this is actually uh, a, a seal of approval to your website to your dropshipping store to let users know that your dropshipping store is legit and is safe. Safe in terms of handling customer data. Safe in terms of handling uh, your own data. Because, you know, safe against uh, potential hackers. And so you need to really take customer privacy uh, like uh, as a big deal. Because if something were to happen, you could lose not only your store, but also lose a lot of stuff in the business that revolves around your store. And God forbid, if you don't have an LLC, if you don't have an S corporation or C corporation to sort of like divorce your personal affairs from your business affairs clients could come after you you know they could see you they could sue you directly so but that's uh, another day another topic for another day but one thing one thing i want to say is that remember that customer privacy is a uh, is really is really a big deal and uh also drop shipping success stories and case studies are not true really the people telling you stuff like you know yeah you know i've made a million dollars whatever this is not true this is not how it happens it takes time it doesn't happen overnight. It does take time and you have to actually go through the process and you have to trust the process. You have to understand that the process is there for a reason. The process is there to actually vet 
those who are coming and those who want to say, you know what, I want to make quick money. It doesn't happen that way. Okay, you have to go through the process. And once you go through the process, you will understand what you have to do to actually, uh, you know, reach the profitability level that you that you should be reaching in the first place. So this is how you are going to differentiate yourself. This is how you're going to sort of position yourself uh, in the long run, especially when it comes to uh, making money, you know, in, in this market. But you're not going to make zero to one thousand dollars per day, you know, in the first 30 days. In other words, you're not going to be making thirty thousand dollars in revenue with doing drop shipping in the first 30 days it won't happen another thing i want to tell you here is that people are talking about seo like you know sometimes you hear the gurus telling you yeah you know you want to you want to optimize for this keyword you want to do keyword research whatever and you want to use a tool such as a mouse pro you want to use a tool such as um such as SEMrush, you want to use a tool such as, uh, you know, Mouse Pro, SEMrush, RFs. The thing here is that, yes, they're there. They will help you with, with research. But uh, SEO is not the only elements that you have to, to, to pay attention to. Obviously, you want to do some basic SEO strategy, your basic SEO uh, research to optimize your product, your dropshipping products, the title, okay, the, 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 the description of the product. And also your website in case you have a blog. If you have a blog, then you want to use actually uh, the, your blog to drive traffic to your store. This is how it usually works. So your your your, uh, your blog becomes a lead magnet for your dress shipping store. And that's that. Now, if you want to really have a, a clear sort of engagement strategy, start thinking about things like uh, a landing page. Try to have a landing page for, for your dress shipping store and you want to run campaigns every now and then. You want to also run uh, Facebook ads so you have a clear idea what's really happening on Facebook. This could be a possibility. And you also want to pay attention to what's really happening in terms of uh, the products that people are selling. See, the thing is that if, you, if your goal is to, to reach 30 grand in, in one month, then you really have a, you need to have a clear idea about what your followers will really want. Okay. And the thing is that do not say, you know what, I have 1 million followers that I'm going to make $1 million in sales. Things do not translate that well. That well. You can have followers, but some of those followers may be inactive. For instance, you can have 1 million followers on uh, on Facebook, but basically you, you do not have uh, that many uh, active followers. So always pay attention to what matters here. You want to pay attention to your active followers because that's how you're going to grow. And one thing I also want to say here is that you want to pay attention to the active followers because uh, they are giving you what we call relevant traffic. Because if you're thinking about you know irrelevant traffic, then you are getting uh, traffic that doesn't matter in the first place. That doesn't matter now. That wouldn't matter tomorrow. But you want traffic that matters all the time. So this is how by driving specific traffic to your to your online store, to your drop shipping store, this is how you are going to start talking to the right folks. And those folks, you can convert them. And once they are converted, they will be able to spend money on your drop shipping store. And once you have the the right traffic to your drop shipping store, that's when you're going to you're going to start generating enough revenue not necessarily zero to one thousand in one month doesn't happen that quickly but you will be there over time you'll be generating some decent money that you can live off live off of thank you so much for your attention i really appreciate it god bless you i'll see you next time until then remember stay marvelous